Hola chicos, bienvenidos a nuestra clase número 4. Our title today, ¿Qué vas a hacer? What are you going to do? We have two learning objectives, saying what you're going to do at the weekend and using the near future tense, but we're going to work with both at the same time so we have a clear picture. Before we go into the new topic, we're going to start with a recap of last session in la cafetería, ordering in the cafe, and I would like you to link the Spanish with the English. Pause the presentation. Here you've got an example. Una ración de would go with G, a portion of. At the end, I would like you to mark yourself out of eight. Right. Dos, un batido de chocolate, a chocolate milkshake, A. Eh? Tres, yo quiero, goes with H, I want. Cuatro, y de beber, with C, and to drink. Cinco, ¿cuánto es? With D, how much is it? Seis, son treinta euros, with I, it's thirty euros. Siete, unas patatas bravas, goes with B, some spicy potatoes. Ocho, un granizado de limón, goes with F, a lemon slash puppy. Y nueve, bebidas, goes with E, drinks. Well done, everybody. Right, we're going to start working with the second of our objectives. What, how do you form the near future and what is it for? We use the near future to say what we are going to do. It's got a very specific structure. That's why I'm asking you to pause the presentation after I've explained it so you can write it down in your books. So it starts with the present tense of the verb ir. Can you remember how we conjugate that? Uh, just a clue is an irregular verb and you needed to learn it off by heart. Plus a plus an infinitive. Remember the infinitive is the verb before we do anything to it and it finishes in ar, ia or ir. Right here we got the present tense of ir, voy, vas, va, vamos, vais, van. Plus a plus an infinitive. Infinitives. How many infinitives can you think of? I can think of a few. Salir, to go out, comer, to eat, beber, to drink, estudiar, to study, ver, to watch, ir, to go, visitar, to visit, conocer, to meet, montar, to ride. We're going to put that in practice. Uh, I've clicked too, too uh, fast and here's the answer to the first one. Uh, so we're going to use the near future. I would like you to translate these sentences. Now you're going to mark yourselves out of five. Uh, here you've got some clues in the little pickies that I've put here. And you also got the actual verbs if you're struggling. So feel free to look at those or feel free to cover them if you want the challenge. A second challenge would be to change the underlying words for a different verb. Pause the presentation and go ahead. Right, so we saw the first one is voy a ir, I am going to go. B, you are going to go out. C, va a beber. He, she, it is going to drink. D, vamos a comer. We are going to eat. E, vais a leer. You all are going to read. And F, van a escuchar. They are going to listen. In the challenge, uh, if you were wondering what a verb could I change it for? It's going to be any infinitive as long as your sentence makes sense. So, for example, if you say vamos a comer, you would have to follow uh, with uh, something related to food rather than drink, for instance. Okay? Right, now I would like you to uh, remember. I'm going to start remembering los días de la semana. So, brace yourselves. Miss is going to do our little song and I would really like it if you could join in from your homes. Ready? Tres, dos, uno. Lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado, domingo. These are the days of the week. Hey! <laughs> I hope you uh, had happy memories from uh, this little song. Now, do you remember time phrases? Time phrases are going to... Uh, put a frame into uh, our write-ups on what we say uh, and it's going to really help us to establish what is the verb tense. All of these are referring to the future because we're working to uh, with the near future tense. I've got a pause here 
to give you the chance to translate and write down in your books in English and Spanish. For example, number one, el fin de semana que viene, would be next weekend. Right, dos, el año que viene, next year. Tres, el viernes que viene, next Friday. Of, obviously, you can put any day of the week there. El sábado por la mañana, Saturday morning. El domingo por la tarde, Sunday afternoon. Mañana, tomorrow. Notice the difference, por la mañana is in the morning and just mañana means tomorrow. Esta tarde, this afternoon, in dos años, in two years time. Obviously here, dos, you could change the number for any number that would make sense with your what you're saying. En julio, in July, again, you could put any month. En el futuro, in the future. And finally, do you remember sequency, uh, sequencing phrases? So, so we use them a lot when we're talking about things that we've done or we're doing or we're going to do. So we got primero, first, después, afterwards, luego, then, finalmente, finally. I've got to pause the presentation so you have the chance to have these in your books. And now we're going to put into practice identifying that structure of the near future. There are trece ejemplos. So, 13 examples of it. Here you've got some help to make sense of the text and I challenge you to translate the phrases you have found. I'm going to read it at the same time so um, you get the pronunciation of, uh, as you read it. Hola, ¿qué tal? Me llamo José. Este fin de semana voy a hacer muchas cosas interesantes. Por ejemplo, el sábado por la mañana voy a jugar a los videojuegos. Luego, a las once voy a ir de compras con mi madre. A las seis voy a salir con mis amigos. Vamos a bailar. Me encanta bailar. Es estupendo. Ja, ja, ja. El domingo por la mañana, primero voy a navegar por internet y luego voy a ver la televisión. No voy a hacer los deberes, qué aburrido. A las dos de la tarde voy a montar en bici. Finalmente voy a ir al parque, donde voy a jugar al fútbol. Va a ser genial. ¿Y tú? ¿Qué vas a hacer este fin de semana? Of course, if that was too fast for you, please pause so you have chance to read it. And notice these con in bold indicate with whom you're going or doing the activity. Right, here you got all the sentences. Notice that all of them are in the first pre uh, person, with the exception of vamos, who is uh, us, we, and va third person and bus, second person. And here you got what they all mean. And note that voy a navegar, I'm going to surf, that's in the sense of surfing the, the net. Pause the presentation and make sure you write all these down. Okay. Now I'm going to let you loose and you going, I'm going to ask you to write at least three sentences with one element of each of these boxes. For example, el fin de semana que viene, here it is, voy a, here we go, ir, this is the infinitive, a un restaurante, a un restaurante. Okay, well done. Now we're going to play a game, uh, and it's called the initials game. Each letter of these is the start of the word. I've put the help of uh, the conjugation of the verb E. We're going to see the first one together. So in brackets you've got we, that's the person. So think we, yo, tu, el, nosotros, we, vamos. And what do you think this would be? Vamos a jugar al voleibol. Pause the presentation to give you a chance to figure out all these expressions. Right, dos. Va a hacer los deberes. Tres. Voy a salir con mis amigos. Cuatro. Vas a hacer deportes. They. Van a ir a la bolera. Seis. Notice you plural. Vais a navegar por internet. Mark yourselves out of five, please. Right, finally, finally sorry, I would like you to uh, do a... Uh, 
a write-up putting together all the things that we've seen with you Nick bit by bit and now I would like you to put it all together and I would like you to write a little paragraph imagining that you're a famous person and I would like you to describe what you're going to do el sábado por la mañana o por la tarde Saturday afternoon or after uh, or morning morning or afternoon I should say I would like you to include what you're going to do when you're going to do it and whom with and try to include an example of we are going to and as an extra challenge to add sparkle please use se sequencing words if you wish here you've got some starters for your sentences please pause the presentation and go ahead right so so far we've worked i think saying what we're going to do at the weekend and use in the near future so well done everybody finally we're going to do our customary contra graton against uh, the mouse uh, you see Spanish and you need to translate into English or English and you need to translate into Spanish here we go And that's all from me for this week. Um, I would like you to uh, stay healthy, helpful and calm. And of course, please email me if you have any questions regarding the lesson or you would like me to correct anything. And for me, it's just hasta pronto.